You're watching ZTV. Hello, dear ones, and welcome to Testimony Tuesday. This is Z. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're enjoying the summer and that you're having a great time of communion with the Lord. I'm having a fantastic time with Him. I'm in a couple different um, seasons of prayer with a couple different people, and so I've had some of the most amazing things occur. Like if you go back and look at last week's Testimony Tuesday, you can um, know how this one started, but this is the second part of it. Um, I was in prayer on Sunday, June 14th, and... Um, I just want to share some of the things that the Lord was saying while I was in prayer. And he was saying, warring angels always go before you. No weapon formed against you prospers. I don't fail. I'm not wrong. Look out from the tops of the mountains. Those are the heights on which I've placed your feet. And then um, there was a time during the prayer where I was doing warfare and just dancing and declaring and decreeing and doing all those things that I saw happening in the spirit and that I felt happening in the spirit. I acted those things out here in my prayer room while I was um, in communion with the Lord. And then I got a confirmation that that warfare, you know, that simple warfare was effective. And I wrote that in Worship Warfare, which is um, Praying with Power and Purpose. I think it's volume 17. I was talking about that. Who, In what other arena can you have a party, you know, a dance party at that? Clapping, singing, snapping, all that good stuff. And then you end up winning a battle. You end up experiencing victory from that. Only with God. You know, he even makes our warfare fun and enjoyable you know so it's really awesome that that he does that and then after i did that war fans, warfare dance battle and he decreed that the battle was won um i made the prophetic decree that the fear of the lord is entering any enemy that's coming against me in the natural in jesus's name and why was i able to make that decree because i had already taken down whatever weapon the enemy was trying to form against me in the spirit remember everything happens in the spirit first you take care of things in the spirit then they manifest in the natural and you get what you want this is why you you know the bible says all the time like to stand communion with the lord you know you stand communion with him for a reason you don't get blindsided you know, and then the last thing that he said was so beautiful. Do not run in the face of battle. So this is a word in season for you guys. Do not run in the face of battle. You see, you could win anything that comes. I'm going before you on all sides to keep you. Don't fear. War with me and in my name and I will give you victory. So I just released that over you and I agree with that myself and I receive that promise in Jesus' name. And um, when he was saying, you see, you can win anything that comes, that's because this is what followed that warfare battle dance that I was doing around here as I was praying. And then I asked the Lord, um, you know, what are my next steps? And he said, watch. So that's good stuff. And I talk about, there's a, um, a wealth transfer module three, and it's called spiritual sensitivity. And it talks about how you meditate on a scripture and see what the Lord is saying about a scripture, but also when you learn how to do it with scripture, you learn how to do it with questions and then you watch and see how he's going to answer you and how to how how he's going to respond to you and then you move forward based on what he said so if you're not familiar with you know communing with him and having those conversations with him you know learning going back and forth and things like that then you might want to get that prayer module it's only three dollars you know it's not going to break you or anything like that and it's mostly just a seed you're sowing into the anointing that i release in those modules that's why you have to pay for it that's why they're not free you know um you, you, it's just a common sense. The things that you get for free don't value as much. They take you longer to catch the anointing from. But if you're sowing, you're making an invest in, investment in something, you're showing the Lord where your treasure is, and He explodes that, you know, because you can't beat sowing seed. It just, you know, it just doesn't get any better for us to be able to accomplish the things that we want and the things that we desire, okay? So definitely check those out. You can get the, the um, Wealth Transfer Prayer Modules 1, 2, and 3, at payhip.com forward slash Ms. Banks. And number three is the one that I'm talking about, where if you need to learn how to meditate scripture and listen and respond to the Lord as, as you're doing that and, you know, receive visions and dreams and signs and confirmations based off of, you know, the communion that you're having with him so that you know it's accurate. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. You know, when I'm communing with the Lord, when I'm finished, I always say, you know, confirm your word with signs and wonders following. And he does because you want to be accurate. You know, it's just that simple. You want to be accurate, and the, the fact of the matter is flesh exists. So you just want to be sure that you're getting the right information. And one way to do that is to ask for signs and wonders following. He's not going to, um, you know, say, well, you're moving out on doubt and stuff like that. There's always a, a, dif a difference, a context. He knows in my heart that I just want to be accurate and that I don't want to be, you know, um, 
you know, telling myself what I want to hear and stuff like that. You know, there are specific times where you know that it's not you. You know that it's him giving you this information. But the only, the reason it's still decent to ask for confirmation is because the Bible says the word is, con um, uh, and uh, testimony is confirmed by the word of two or three witnesses. So that's why it's always good to ask for confirmations. And another reason is because you just want to be sure you know, that you are on the right track. And when the Lord sends somebody else to say, oh, well, da 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 and you say, hey, yeah, I was talking to the Lord about that in my prayer time this morning. You just know without a doubt that you can trust him, that he's for you, and that your relationship is developing in the right way. You know, and we need those confirmations. As people, we expect them, we want them, we want those affirmations just to know, you know, that we're doing well. And of course, the fruit of your life is going to obviously you know, show you what's what and everything still, but you know, there's nothing wrong at all. You know, when, when you're hearing things from the Lord, when you're in communion to just say, you know, when you're done, confirm with signs and wonders following, it's a good thing. You know, he won't be offended. All right. So thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. I bless you in Jesus name and take care.